Hi, Right Writers Cruz here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we are going to be looking at the new generative AI features in the Google Workspace Labs. I was selected, um, just given a basically like a pop up in my Gmail account asking me if I would be interested in looking at these new features within Google Docs and the different uh, Google Workspace platforms. Um, and of course, I agreed to be a part of this experiment. And I wanted to share Write Writers how I used it in the same way that I use ChatGPT. So I had given the AI feature in Google Workspace Labs the same prompt that I gave ChatGPT. And that was to please create a persuasive essay on the following topic. Driving tests should be mandatory every year after you are 65 years old. Now, what's interesting is the Google Workspace, the AI within the Workspace um, platform, basically came up with this essay. This essay was 316 words. It had an introduction. It had body paragraphs and a conclusion. Let's take a look at the essay that um, the AI feature created within Google Docs, and then we'll sort of take some time to critique. So I am going to read the essay all at once. It is quite short, and then we'll go back and look at highlight some of the features of this particular essay created again by the new AI features in the Google Workspace. As people age, their physical and mental abilities naturally decline. This can make it difficult for them to drive safely. In fact, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, drivers over the age of 65 are involved in fatal crashes at twice the rate of drivers under the age of 20. One way to help reduce the number of accidents involving older drivers is to require them to take a driving test every year after they reach the age of 65. This would help to ensure that they are still able to drive safely. There are several reasons why requiring annual driving tests for older drivers is a good idea. First, it would help to identify drivers who are no longer able to drive safely. Second, it would provide an opportunity for older drivers to brush up on their driving skills. Third, it would give them a chance to practice driving in different conditions. Of course, there are some potential drawbacks to requiring annual driving tests for older drivers. One is that it could be expensive to administer the tests. Another is that it could be inconvenient for older drivers to take, tests, take the tests. Additionally, some people might argue that it is unfair to require older drivers to take tests when younger drivers are not required to do the same. However, the benefits of requiring annual driving tests for older drivers outweigh the drawbacks. Requiring these tests would help to keep older drivers safe on the road and reduce the number of accidents involving them. In conclusion, requiring annual driving tests for older drivers is a good idea. It would help to identify drivers who are no longer able to drive safely, provide an opportunity for older drivers to brush up on their driving skills, and give them a chance to practice driving in different conditions. The benefits of requiring these tests outweigh the drawbacks. Okay, so right writers, if you notice while I was reading, there was a bit of repetition within the essay itself, but keep in mind that that repetition helps to emphasize your argument and your key points. One might argue, you know, in the introduction, it sort of immediately launches into the topic without easing the reader into the topic. In addition, there's no real thesis provided in the introduction. Instead, they just jump right into the topic, then give us some quantitative data by giving us research information from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which is great but we don't really have a thesis. That thesis does not really, um, is not really explained until the next paragraph. Um, number one is obviously that it would reduce the number of accidents. 
and that by having them do the driving tests, they would be able to drive safely. We really don't get into the meat until the third paragraph, as far as you know, the thesis or reasons why uh, we should support annual driving tests for older drivers. That said, it just gives us another way, though, right, writers, to write an essay. It is okay to do this, as long as it's introduced at some point in the essay. Nobody said you had to do everything in the introduction. And so I wanted to make sure that we reviewed how another platform, how specifically another AI platform addressed the same prompt and just looking at their take on the topic. Then we looked at um, the essay or the AI looked at the potential drawbacks. Um, they focused on several drawbacks. Of course, they didn't explicitly mention, you know, age discrimination. However, they did talk about, you know, the expense, how expensive it would be. It would be inconvenient. And they did use the word instead of discrimination, how it may be unfair. And so a different type of word choice versus if you saw the video on ChatGPT and how ChatGPT addressed the same topic. Then moving down to our conclusion, it pretty much explains what it already explained in other paragraphs. And it sort of just gives a very generic, simple conclusion. If you notice, the sentence structure is quite simple. Um, we don't see too many compound complex sentences. Many of these sentences are either simple sentences, compound sentences, or complex sentences. The AI does use transition words, which is fabulous. You see words like, in fact, you see transition words like, you know, first, second, and third. However, I might argue that that can sometimes sound a bit elementary, so please be aware of that. They do use words, transition words, such as additionally. We see other transition words, such as however. And of course, we see the in conclusion, the transition word in conclusion. Overall, I mean, I think the AI within the Google Workspace Lab is a bit more uh, basic and simple as far as the construction of its essays. However, I was impressed with the fact that it gave an actual statistic within the essay itself, and it created a different type of structure, a structure that we are not really used to. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, right, writers, is I'm going to go ahead and basically copy this um, prompt again, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So once I was in my Google Doc tab, this automatically came up within the Workspace Lab. So I clicked on it, and it basically says, help me write. And it just says, write a formal invitation. They give you simple examples. Help me write a newspaper ad. Help me write an example res essay, resume, rather. Help me write a poem with the title. So basically what I did was I just went ahead and gave it that feature as far as, you know, the same prompt feature, not necessarily feature, but I gave it the same prompt that I gave ChatGPT. And then I clicked on create. And then it took a few moments, and then that's how it uh, generated the essay that I had read. It gave me pretty much the same as far as the introduction. It did change up the essay a little bit. So I just said, create a persuasive essay on the following topic. And so make sure that you are direct in your questioning within the AI in the Google platform. So right writers, I hope that reviewing this essay and in a different, um, using a different AI feature in this case in Google Workspace Labs helps you to understand that again, there are different AI features that are coming out on different platforms and we wanna take the time to uh, use these platforms. Thank you so much for watching this video, right writers. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this just a little bit. So I leave you with the um, essay here from Google Docs. And again, thank you so much for subscribing.
and supporting this channel. Please share this channel link with other individuals whom you feel may benefit from practicing writing, from watching and learning how to use AI on different platforms to generate writing. And um, I think that'll do it. So <laughs> that said, have a great rest of your week, Write Writers. Take care. Love you guys. Bye-bye.